Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Corlisa and I am a breast cancer survivor. This month is breast cancer month and to all my sisters and brothers out there who survived breast cancer, I want to say thank you and God bless you. I am a breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed in March of 2020. Within two weeks, my cancer was so aggressive Within two weeks, I had surgery. I want to share my story with you. I want to uh, express my gratitude to all the people that asked me to pray for them. And I want to show gratitude and thankfulness to all the people that prayed for me when I went through cancer. I went through cancer in March of 2020. I uh, had a mammogram that called me back. Within two weeks, I was in surgery. I had a uh, breast cancer surgery. I went through radiation, chemotherapy. I went through it all. And one thing that kept me going was my faith. You must have faith in the Holy Father. You must trust Jesus that he will heal your body and deliver you. You got to believe that in your mind because you will, you may have a support system where other people, you know, come in, you know, uh, pray with you and do. And sometimes you don't have a support system. But one thing that you can always count on, you can count on the faith of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's going to come through every time. So, you know, you faced with any kind of disease in your body. At the end of this video, we're going to pray. We're going to pray together and we're going to just thank God and, you know, just lift him up. That's all you can do. This life is temporary and cancer is a devastating thing to have. But it's all about the frame of your mind. You know, I had businesses shut down. And I was doing extremely well. And you know what? One day I asked the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, what am I going to do? He said, what do you do best? Everything. No. He said, no. What have you done all your life? You know what I've done all my life? For my family, because I have a big family and children, I cooked. I cooked everything and I can cook anything. So he said, do what you do best. Cook. So that's how I started with YouTube because the Holy Spirit led me to YouTube. I didn't know how I was going to get any finances. You know, when we found out I had cancer, I never understood how people, they, they owe so much money and they put their mortgages up. I ain't understand it. When you have cancer, there's an oncology doctor. That's the one that gives you the medicine and regulates your body. Then there's a radiology doctor. That's the one that gives you the radiation. Then you have to have a general surgeon. That's the one that cut on you and, you know, make sure all the cancer cells out. And then you have to have nutritionists. It just goes on and on. But at the end of the day, everybody's going to get some money from somewhere. And if you own access to stuff, if you don't pay those cancer bills, you know, they'll put liens against your house and, you know, they'll come after you. So, you know, I was blessed in a lot of ways. I, at that time during COVID, this is my story. I applied for the Susan G. Gorman Cancer Foundation, and I applied to other uh, hope projects with the cancer. I got no money. Either the, the funds was depleted, and this happened so suddenly, I, you know, I always thought there would help. So if you do have extra money, I always give to these organizations to help. But during my time, there was no organization that came through. The COVID ran rampant, you know, everybody was shut in and I was shut in. It was the grace of God that they got me in surgery in two weeks after finding out I had cancer. And I just want you to know that God is real. And you just have, have to have faith and you have to be strong, have a strong mind. Know that you can do all things through Christ, he who strengthens you. But the one thing about it, you know, you got to have a positive attitude. And it's one thing for certain. We are born. We can't change that. And we're going to die. It's inevitable. We can't change that. But the thing that you need to worry about, you know, with cancer or without cancer, you got to save your soul. You have to pray and ask 
to be forgiven of your sins, whatever that may be. And we're going to pray together. You have to have faith. And it's no coincidence that I'm on YouTube. You know, I was a business owner. I had businesses that I was doing extremely well. In March of 2020, when the pandemic started, I was shut down. Because one thing, I found out I was sick before my 52nd birthday. I had surgery two days after my 52nd birthday. My 52nd birthday. And that was, it was horrific. And I had to go through all the the treatments and all that stuff but you know one thing just just kept me it was the holy spirit it was the holy spirit so this is some of the things that i went through and i hope that this video will help you and you know whoever it is for out there it is for you because I survived. This is my son, Daryl. This is his number from high school. They had the senior night tonight. And it's breast cancer month. This is the breast cancer of plaque that my son gave me. And the school, it's a beautiful, beautiful plaque. It says, oh, Corlisa Ricks, always remember you are brave than you think, stronger than you seem, and love more than you know. With love, you're a command of family. And that was a wonderful thing that Ed White High School in Jacksonville, Florida, they gave this to me. And that was such a wonderful thing. He is such an awesome, outstanding young man. On the back, he wrote a, uh, a special note to me, and they read it over the intercom. I was like, <laughs> I was really excited. He wrote, Mom, I want to thank you for always being there for me through all our adversaries and kept me focused and determined to complete my goals. Seeing you fight cancer gave me a deeper understanding of how strong you are and I am blessed to have you still with me. I love you. And my son, that was just a wonderful tribute to me because it's senior night. So I want to tell you some of the things I went that time. I had breast cancer and it was during the pandemic. It was really, really rough on me. And it was really, really just, just, just really devastating to my family. Not only financially, because my businesses were shut down. I couldn't operate. I didn't know where we we're going to get our next finances from. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And, you know, it told me to be brave, have faith, because it was so such a devastating ordeal. But for the football team, I was there every game, even for the junior varsity game, you know, and they just showed me so much love. But I wasn't expecting this. And I'm kind of like a private person. I really didn't go out there and just want to share, you know, just wanted, um, I didn't want anybody to know, you know. I wanted to handle me, take care of me, and the only the only person I went to is God. Our Holy Father, Jesus Christ, they helped me, and they'll help you too. But this is the plaque that I received. And also, you guys, they gave me some balloons, and I have some uh, beautiful roses. I, have, I received some beautiful roses. They smell so good. It's, a simple, it's the simple things in life that you uh, must appreciate. Because, you know, life can be taken in the blink of an eye. So, you know, if you can, try to make peace. Try to make peace and just have faith no matter what you're going through. Know that there is a God. He's watching. He knows. And he has work for you. But this is my story. And I hope someone can get inspiration out of it and have faith in God. That's the two things I want you to receive from this video. Faith and have faith in God, and you have to trust our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, I hope that this, I hope my story um, can help someone or um, help you to reach your goals and achieve the things that you need to have achieved in your lifetime. Just never stop praying. Never stop believing in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And one of the best things you can do one of the best things you can do, this book is the Holy Bible. It is the road map to life. Read it. Try to understand the scriptures. And I pray and hope it helps. And if it helps anybody, 
I watch sometimes this uh, this apostle, Geno Jenkins. His name is Geno Jenkins. You know, he helped with the Bible scriptures, you know, and I appreciate that. But uh, sometimes when you can't get out, pick up your Bible, start reading your Bible because it is the roadmap of life. You want change in your life? You have to repent of your sins and make it work for you. I hope it uplift you. I hope it give you encouragement. And I want you to know that there is a God. And we thank you, Holy Father. And we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have faith. Be strong. I am a cancer survivor. And at the end of my treatment, I rang that bell at the hospital. All the patients get to ring the bell when they finish their cancer treatment. And that's a real, real exciting thing to do. So, uh, this is my story. I would story. like to conclude this video with a prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for sparing our wretched souls from your wrath. And thank you for giving us our, your, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And all those who are out there are suffering with cancer, and you are cancer survivors, we always remember you are braver than you think and stronger than you know. We are loved by the most powerful Holy God in the whole world. He is the one true supreme being. And we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for being our Lord and Savior and covering us with your precious blood. Amen. Amen. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Oh.